start? Okay. <laughs> My name is Sister Denise Wilkinson, and this is the first in a series of Ask a Sister. So as you know, we had a place for you to ask on our website, whatever questions you'd like to uh, inquire about, and have a sister answer. So I received several, and I'm going to start with two that I think are very important, very similar. Two of the questions involved, what was my favorite Bible verse and why? And what Bible verse do I turn to in times of stress? And for me, they're both the same. The first one comes from Deuteronomy. I set before you life and death, blessings and a curse. Choose life. And that verse really does give me a lot of courage, a lot of motivation to go forward no matter what the situation is. And then the second one isn't really a verse, it's a story. The story of the woman bent over for 18 years. And in this story, I always love that she, she comes to stand and listen to Jesus with a crowd. And she doesn't ask for anything, but Jesus calls her forward. And knowing what she wants or what she would hope for, he heals her without her asking or saying anything. And that gives me a lot of comfort of just knowing to be in the presence of the Holy One, the presence of Jesus, that God knows what I need, what we need and will heal us. So I think that's the, the response I would give to those two questions. The third one really intrigued me and has made me think a lot. Uh, a woman asked me what I would say to a person who thinks that the coronavirus 19 is a punishment from God. And I think I wouldn't try to say anything. I think so much depends on how each of us understands God, who we believe God is, and how God works in the world. And if a person sees God as a punishing God, then I don't know that anything I say could dissuade him or her from that belief. Because I don't see God that way. I see God as a loving God, a healing God, and that we humans create a lot of our own misery. God is with us, God strengthens us to get ourselves out of the messes we've made. So, Nancy, I just don't think I'd say anything. I think I would listen polite, politely, respectfully, and maybe say something like, oh, I just don't believe that, or I don't think that way, and leave it at that. Um, a cousin of mine, Joanne, asked me about my favorite author and why. So, Joanne, you are a former English teacher, so you know there are genres. So, in terms of poetry, I have to say Emily Dickinson. She is um, short, concise, and always leaves me wondering. And then, uh, I like biography, I like historical biography. And Joanne, as far as fiction, I'm totally indiscriminate. Uh, I'm very susceptible to what people suggest. So Joanne, I have a question for you. When are you gonna organize the next cousin's party? <laughs>